and you are now tuned in to the actual factuals. The actual factuals. And welcome back to the actual factuals. I am your host. My name is Josh Moody. It is the handsome one, the dancing one, the prancing one, the the handsome one. You gotta say it twice. It's always better when you say it twice. Guys, it feels great to be back. We're back here once again with a great show for you guys today. But first and foremost, I got to get my shout outs out of the way. Of course, as always, shout out to the team, 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 steam, steam. Shout out to my man, EO. You already know what it is, bro. Sweet thing, sweet thing. I sat the record when it makes me look all good for you guys and have my voice all ready for you. Also, the writer of this show, my Skyzer, Rodney Chance. You already know what it is, bro. Shelly Schwinch, bro. T Chat on TP. As always, into my uh, my fellow co host, my brother. You already know what it is, Shoe 50. What's up, my Skyzer? You already know what it is. But, it's, but it, we'll be back once again. It's the actual factuals, guys. I got a great show for you guys today. We're jumping right back into it, okay, with my my recap. First of all, in the picks last week, I went 5-1, and one, and Rodney went 3-3. Three and three. Okay, recap. Browns beat the uh, New York Jets on uh, Thursday Night Football. And absolutely breaking Mayfield. It's clearly his shot. He's, he's already been named the starting quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. Honestly, I feel bad for Tyrod because, like I said, he's a great pro, okay, uh, he, uh, great game manager. He, he, he's, he's solid to a good quarterback, okay? He has a good arm, very lob arm, can make throws on the football field, doesn't turn the ball over, can win you some football games. You got a good defense. However, it sucks. This kid, this kid Baker clearly seems to have this, like, special it factor, I like to call. He's calm. He's cool in the pocket. That's the one thing I always like to see in a quarterback is somebody who is super cool whenever, no matter what, even kill type of guy. He's turned up. He's swaggy. I get it. Like, the confidence is real. You know, in terms of, like, the hype, I believe the hype is real. You can't crown him off of one game. He didn't even start the full game. But, guys, if you know football and if you know talent, if you know the quarterback position, the man can straight, straight up spend the football. So, honestly... Tyrod, I feel like you'll be a starting quarterback somewhere else. It, it, you just keep getting the shirt into the stick, my brother. I still wish you the best of luck. I, I, and honestly, like I said, in this case, I think the Browns really made the made made the right decision. I, in my honest, in my honest opinion. But nonetheless, Saints Falcons, what a what a game. Matty Warm, you came out and turned up. I guess you you know you shut me up. I guess, but you, not really because you lost the game, and that's why I be sleep on you. I, I've always seen you put up great numbers, but for some reason, when it comes down to the big game, you just don't get it done. My Jackman, shout out to Drew Brees. My son is a stud still. Oh, had getting it done. That run to seal the game was just tough. Spent off them off two dudes. Listen, it was a great game. Great game. I would I actually didn't expect anything less. But shout out to you, Drew Brees. You wild. Three hundred ninety-six yards, three passing touchdowns, two rushing TDs. Michael Thomas is OD and uh, Camara. Could have gotten it done on the ground, but he had 50 catches for 124 yards receiving, and that's what makes him super tough is the fact that he's so versatile. The man is super fast, run good routes, got good hands, great athlete, okay? Uh, Julio Jones still had a good day, five catches for 96 yards, and Calvary really, he went bananas, had three tutties, seven catches for 146 yards. That's going to happen when you have Julio Jones on one side, and even Sanu, who takes away, you know, somebody you got to keep your eye on as well. Shout out to you, my, my guy Sanu. You already know what it is. Uh, San Fran, Jimmy, Jimmy G. That sucks to see Jimmy G go down. Um, in my opinion, that's a knock you have to have on him because anytime he started, he's gotten knocked out. Now with ACL, I'm not wishing bad health upon no man. That's I won't wish upon him, uh, my worst enemy. One of the worst pain I ever felt in my life. Nonetheless, get you uh, get help soon. Uh, get healthy soon, Jimmy G. And all the best to you. I know you'll be back on the field doing your thing. This guy, Patrick Mahomes, is absolutely legit. This guy has the beam cannon, as my son Mano would say. This that you know can make any throw in the football field. He really he's back there with a rocket launcher. He's pretty impressive. He's athletic. He's young. He's mobile. He you know he can break them when the play break down. He can go make something. Super impressed with that kid. Um, you know, like I said, Kansas City has a tendency of getting hot and you know not sustaining it. So we'll see how you know things go on in the long run. But they got something in that kid. That kid. That kid is a, a straight up gunslinger. Can make any throw on the football field, plus more. Got arm, got arm for days, pause. Like just, just a raw arm. Absolutely raw arm. Uh battle LA, nothing, you know, nothing to see here. Uh the, you know, Jared Goff and them boys lit it up. Jared Cook, T T G. Uh, and that defense, too savage. Shout out to my boy Ease. You already know what it is. Brody, Sam Donald and them boys turned up. So, I mean, like I said, 
despite despite that loss, though, I got I gotta give it, give audible mention my son Mike Williams, I, the former Clemson wide receiver. Finally, you know he's back healthy, doing his thing. Glad to see him because he's a start. I, I actually like Mike Williams a lot. I think he's gonna do damage in, in the league. So nonetheless, and then Patriots. This is the one game that I was not uh, that I, I did not pick correctly. Patriots at Lions, which is kind of surprising. Gronk pretty much held in check. Um, Tom Brady and them boys couldn't get much going, but Flash is coming back this upcoming week, so it's going to be see how to in- integrate him into that offense. I'm sure he's going to eat. Tom Brady is the GOAT, hands down. And Steelers versus Buccaneers, uh, Matty Fitzpatrick came down to earth a little bit. Um, I-, I believe Jameis is now really definitely getting the job. I think at, if they would have went 3-0 or 4-0 without him, I think it had, they would have had an honest... Uh, you know, a, a real debated decision they would have had to make, executive decision they would have had to make on that situation. So nonetheless, uh, like I said, that's that's the recap of last week. Like I said, Josh went five and one, Rodney went three and three. I'm just saying, if you want real advice, you might want to listen to Shmi. I didn't even mean to shroud like that, but it kind of just worked out like that. But we should move us forward, okay? So we got Thursday night football coming up tomorrow, okay? Actually, when you guys see this, it will be. Yeah, it will still be tomorrow when you guys see this. I'm tripping, tripping. But nonetheless, Vikings at Rams. Great game. Can the Vikings bounce back after getting smoked? After getting smoked by Josh Allen and, and the Buffalo Bills, which is type crazy. Uh, actually, you know, he's a he's a he's a big fella, pause. Got a nice lob arm, strong arm, very strong arm. Um, and like I said, he's a pretty athletic. He got he seemed to have like this this little provado and swag to him. I'm jacking it. You know, like I said, it's a long time to go, a long way to go in terms of like the season. That's just one game. Uh, but like I said, I know that's a bad loss for Kirk Cousins and the Vikings, especially with that defense. You know, that's a, that's a tough loss because, you, you know, you, you go on that road, you're supposed to be leaving that. Uh, I'm sorry, because we're leaving that 2-1-1. Uh, two, two, one one. I'm sorry, 2-0-1 uh, two, two, oh because you guys have the tie with the Vikings. And even that, you guys are a kicker away from be, possibly being 3-0. So honestly, Kirk Cousins seems to have these bad losses. Uh, but uh, he's fourth in the league in pass with 965 yards. Jared Goff is, is fifth with 940 yards. Adam Thielen is second in receiving. He's actually very, very tough. But like I said, Aqib Tlaib will be probably guarding him. I haven't. I got to check my sources on Marcus Peters to see if he's really hurt. But I know he went down pretty bad and they were checking Achilles possibly. So hopefully he's healthy. We want to see that man off the field because that's a dynamic uh, defensive backfield with them two on the field. Locking down with Joyner at safety. They got some guys. They got some guys on that team. So, nonetheless, I think Todd Gurley and them boys definitely get it done. I think the Vikings will put up a good game. Kirk Cousins, he might get his. Uh, however, I don't... Um, like I said, I, I'm, I'm definitely taking that lane. Now, Todd G uh, and, and Jared Goff won't get done, especially with that defense. Two Savage. AD and them boys up front. Sue. You kidding me? It's not even. That's not even a fair fight. Dolphins at Patriots. I'm sleep on the Dolphins. I'm sorry, Mike Vrabel. Salute to you, good brother, for getting that head coaching job. You're definitely one of those brothers who I, I definitely see would have been a coach moving forward. I'm not even surprised at all. Nonetheless, you got that team three and though. You got them believing. They playing well. They slapping fives when they running down the field. No, I get it. It's super dope. I, I, I'm jacking it. However, you're going into New England. I just don't see y'all winning that game. Bill Belichick is not jacking it. You're his, you're his former player. You're not even a student. Well, uh, you could kind of call him a student because you learned under him. You, you know, tutelage underneath, underneath him in his system for so long, and that's where you thrive. So maybe, maybe this, this may be the student versus the teacher thing again. But nonetheless, I think the Patriots win that game. Tom Brady get, gets it done. Gronk finally has a big game as well as Flash. This, I, I feel like it's going to really open up the field. And Edelman is coming back soon. Uh, so like I said, they'll they'll be they'll be in good shape once they get them boys back. And uh, Bill Bel- you you best believe Bill Belichick and the boys are gonna get it straight. Okay, so I've definitely got Patriots in that pick. Okay, Rod also took the Patriots. Okay, next game we got Eagles at Titans. I actually like the Eagles in this game. Unfortunately, I hate to say this, shoe you can want yourself. You know I don't jack you guys anyway. However, here's the one thing I am happy to be happy to see is Carson Wentz back on the football field. I wish injury upon no man. However, that man is a stud. I believe he's a wizard. Great footwork. I love the arm. I love the confidence. Okay, I love the ability to make when the play breaks down. I love the the fact that he has the ability to go get his. Okay. The young, like I said, the young wizard returned last week, and not too shabby. 25 for 37, 255 yards, one tutty, one interception. Look, he's probably rusty. He ain't played in a little while. I'm not worried about him, whether it's this year, next year, or down the line. That man is a stud. The Philadelphia Eagles, you guys have a quarterback. Can Mariota and them boys get it done? 
I feel like he's a good, an above average to good quarterback. Okay, what makes him special is the ability to move and make some special throws when he wants to. Um, however, like I said, I'm waiting for Mario to take the next step. Him and Jameis as well, because there's some quarterbacks that are on their tail, if not already past them, that have came in after them. So, like, like I said, that's actually some some big years for them boys. So, you know, the Titans got some got some good weapons. Derrick Henry, Deion Lewis, and them boys. Uh, you know, we're gonna see how you know how that works out. But I'm taking the Eagles in that game. Uh, Rodney's also taking Eagles. Browns at Raiders. I'm sleep on the Raiders. Even honestly, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. I'm, I, I hate to say this. I'm actually going to take the Raiders in this game because they're at home. I feel like they'll finally get a dub. Baker's probably going to hoop. I just feel like, I don't know. Some is telling me for some reason the Raiders are going to win this game. They're 0-3. They have to be hungry for a win, even though I truly believe John Gruden is running to the ground. But like I said, the Browns are must-see TV. It's, it's, it's Baker's show, point blank, period. It's, it's well-deserved, like I said. I think he's going to turn up. Miles Garrett has been old in. Guys, he is super bendy post. The ability to bend around. I don't think you guys understand about tight corners and coming off coming off of hips and around, so, around shoulders tight enough that you can wrap and bend around and get to the quarterback. When the quarterback is stepping up to the pocket, the tackle is setting super high, right? So that means once you get past that tackle and you hit, yeah, and yeah, 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 right? You got to bend back down to the quarterback. I don't think you guys understand. That's what makes D linemen such freak athletes. The fact that they're that big and that nimble. The fact that they can bend around corners. Aaron Donald's one of the best people I've ever seen. He can split a double team here, here, bend in, in close quarters in the phone booth, as we like to call it. Split a double team and bend around and wrap around and get a QB. It's actually it's absolutely quite phenomenal. If you guys know the technique and know how hard that it is that it takes and that it takes to master and the type of savage you have to be to, to get that down, it's absolutely super impressive. So Miles Garrett, you're a freak. Pause. I'm excited to see what you do in the league. I feel like you're gonna dominate for as long as you play. Bar an injury, of course. Nonetheless, I'm taking the Raiders in that game as much as they hate to say me, Juice Landry and them boys. I hate to say it. And Andre Colloway is tough. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Browns, I'm telling you, they, they, they really got something going over there. Okay? Saints at the G-Man. Finally, the G-Man finally got a big W. Eli, I still hate your face. I will never like your face. But you got it done. You still look like a JV quarterback out there right now. Uh, uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but we need to go get a quarterback. Nonetheless, Saquon, you are a stud. You have these these nimble ballerina dare type feet, but you you got these tree trunks for legs, these ox legs like it's crazy. You're built different. OBJ, Eli, get my son a tutty. Stop playing, bro. Stop playing, bro. Get my man a tutty. Yeah, I guess ridiculous. I, there's one on one opportunities in the red zone. We're not even throwing fade routes, fade balls, back shoulder balls, nothing. To him, like I granted, I, honestly, if you could keep it on the ground and run with Saquon, I get it. Like, but pay that man, bro. Stop playing, bro. He needs to get paid. And I'm talking about touchdowns. He's working hard, man. Stop playing. But that Saints offense is gonna come into town balling. Okay, I told you this is my sleeper for the Super Bowl this year. Is the New Orleans Saints. I just like Drew Brees this year. This man is wilding as usual. Just past Brett Favre with completions. It's it's just ridiculous. This, the man is timeless. Timeless. Could probably still play. I don't know. Him and Tom is just wilding. But like I said, fourth in offense, nothing new here. Third in passion. Okay? Will we see a shootout? I don't know. Eli's not built like that at this very moment. I'm hoping our defense step up, and that'd be a great game. Uh, so, we'll see. Whoa. <laughs> Shout out to my Giants. <laughs> they be <laughs> My son OBJ is always hip on his shit. So, my son is never slacking on his shit. On his dancing shit. Sunday night football, Ravens at Steelers, number one defense versus number two offense. I am taking the Steelers. They're at home. Big Ben was wilding last week. I'm sleep on the Ravens. Joe Flacco can one yourself. Lamar Jackson, I can't wait for you to take over that game. Shout out to Ann Everett. You already know, bro. Uh, and you know, like I said, I'm taking the like I said, I'm taking the Steelers in that game. I'm not really too pumped. I know that's a rivalry. It's a big AFC game. Suggs and them boys are going to come to play, ready to get after Big Ben's ass, Pauls. I get it. That D-line is tough. It should be a tough, nasty, physical football game. If you guys like that nasty type of physical football and you played it, you're gonna, you, you should watch that game. Should be should be a goodie. Nonetheless, I will have to pick the Steelers in that game to beat the Ravens. Okay, Riders also picked the Steelers. And last, we got the Chiefs at Broncos. Um, This is going to be a goodie. This is going to be a goodie. I'm going to pick Broncos as well. Uh, Rodney picked Broncos, uh, you know, and uh, Von Miller 
And Bradley Chubb, them boys, just seem to be a, a formidable, of course, Brad, uh, Von Miller was already a formidable uh, opponent on that D-line. But, you know, with them boys, I'm sleeping on Case Keenum. You know what I'm saying? But they're getting the job done. They are 2-1. and one. It's going to be interesting matchup. Patrick Mahomes, you're a stud. We'll see if that pass rush is able to get to you. Uh, Tyreek Hill, you've been, you have been wilding. Conley's a big target for him in the, in, in the red zone. Kelsey is getting a lot of receptions. Hasn't got paid yet in terms of scoring touchdowns. He's willing to go willing to go nuts soon. He's, he's just due pause. So like I said, and with uh, Andy Reid at the helm, that man is dialing it up super nice. So we're going to see. I would have to pick the Broncos in that game, though, to, get, to hand the Chiefs their first L of the season, guys. So look, uh, you know, so... I, you know, and, and, and moving forward, I'm going to transition a little bit into the NBA here because I just got to acknowledge this. Guys, that Kawhi shit was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. My lady would tell you, sweet thing, I was in here hollering. They brought up old videos on him, like in Sacramento, and every time that he laughed, and I'm just like, yo, bro, Bull is really so socially awkward. Some dudes are really just not built for the spotlight. They're not comfortable speaking in front of you. That's not who they are. Like this, they're not like this handsome fella here who, 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 you know, could get on here and, and can whine and charm you and, and whine and dime you and all that cool shit with my voice. And I was, excuse me if I toot my own horn real quick. Point I'm trying to say is the man is clearly not comfortable in the media, in front of the camera, and all that good and sweet stuff. But nonetheless, right? He's, he's, he's him. This is who he is. So to see him actually laugh, and I really felt like that was a genuine Kawhi Leonard laugh. Even though it felt false, they felt like somebody said it felt like somebody was stepping on his throat as he was saying it. Pause. But I'm, I know it was funny. It was dumb funny. I'm telling you, I had tears coming out my eyes. I was crying, hollering in the crib. I just don't think it's him. Uh, you know, Jimmy Butler is supposed to be getting traded. We'll see him and Tom Thibodeau couldn't work it out. I don't think it has anything between Butler and Thibodeau. I just think it was the place of Minnesota. They gave offered Cat that $190 million max contract. Get paid, young stinger. Get spayed. I'm not mad at you. So nonetheless, you got that bread. Now Big Cat, that comes with a lot of expectations, good brother. I'm saying because Joel Embiid, to me, is already the, already the best big man in the A. I'm just telling you, honestly... Healthy Demarcus Cousins too is 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 arguably right there too in my opinion. I I with Demarcus Cousins, but if you want to look at all around total basketball, Joel Embiid plays more you know plays better defense than than it is just like the caliber type of defensive player that Joel Embiid can be as well is just scary. So nonetheless, like I said, uh you know big cat three year starter has not missed a game showing great durability. You know what I mean? 18 points per game rookie year, 25 points per game 2016, 2017, 21 points per game. He he averaged a double-double, 10 boards first year, 12 boards uh, la- uh, the previous year, and uh, 12 boards again last year. So like I said, he, he's one of the top big men in the game, well worth it. So, you know, it's just a market for these, for these kids these days. They're getting paid. But guys, look, I'm about to wrap this up. This has been the actual factuals, right? I am your host, Josh Moody. It is the handsome one, the dancing one, the prancing one, the chancing one. You got to say it twice. It's always better when you say it twice, man. It's the actual factuals. I'm off this one yourselves. Holla at you. The actual factuals. Man, it's the actual factuals.